Sean McDiarmid executed Kilmainham Jail, 12th of May, 1916. From midnight, Miss Phyllis and Mary Ryan spent a few hours with McDiarmid in his cell in Kilmainham. Miss Mary Ryan has given the following account of the visit. We didn't know at all that Sean McDermott was going to die until we got word from the military that he wished to see me and my sister if she wished to come. We had hoped, as the executions had stopped for a good while, that himself and Connolly would be spared, but then we knew definitely. We saw him in his cell. It was a small cell. There was a board raised slightly at one end on towards the end of the cell and beside it was a roughish table with a chair, a rather roughish chair too, in front of it. On the table was a candle in a candlestick. I think it was a copper looking candlestick. And the candle, a very yellow tallow looking candle, was guttering down all the time onto the table. On the table there was a paper and pencil, some writing on the paper. There was an army officer around the place and a soldier standing inside the door. We sat down on the wooden bed on the slightly raised board and Sean sat between us and put one arm around each of us and talked to us in a way that was in no way sad, I might say. We talked about everything. We kept off the evil moment of asking anything about what was going to happen. We talked about things that had happened during the week and about people that were in it and people that weren't in it and we had a good laugh about some of them. It was ridiculous in a way because there was no sign of mourning. We had to hold up, of course, when he held up, and so we showed no signs of sorrow while we discussed things. He asked us about the girls that used to come into our house and about other girls as well. He said he would like to send them some little thing, and so we collected any few pennies we had between us. With a certain amount of difficulty, we got a penknife from the officer. Sean scratched his initials on the pennies and then he cut the buttons off his coat. I can't remember, I don't think he was in uniform and gave them to us to give to different people. This we did indeed, but we hadn't enough, of course, to go around. We were there at 12 o'clock and we didn't leave till three. We were three hours with him and talked about everything under the sun. We talked an awful lot about the week of the rising and about how other places had fared as much as we knew. When the priest appeared at three o'clock, Sean was executed at quarter to four. We stood up promptly and felt a great jerk, I am sure, all three of us, to say goodbye. I was the last to say goodbye to him and he kissed me and said, just said, we never thought it would end like this, that this would be the end. Yes, that's all he said, although he knew himself long before that what the end would be for him. <laughs>